Welcome back to our Space Mesh Wallet tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the settings and how to protect your wallet. The essential things most users need to know are basically backing up and exporting a wallet. Security is a top priority, so if you lost your mnemonics, you can still go here and get them back. Of course, to see them, you will have to authenticate by providing your password. Write them down on paper or copy them and store them in a secure location offline. Exporting your wallet's JSON file doesn't require a password right away, but you will need it when using the file later. Keep in mind that this file captures a snapshot of your wallet's state and configuration at the moment of export. If you change your settings, keys, or accounts afterward, the exported file will not reflect those updates. So, it's important to create a new backup whenever significant changes are made to ensure you have the latest version securely stored. Now, let's talk about the red Wipeout button, which you can find in the settings and on the login page. Don't worry, this button doesn't permanently destroy your account, history, or identity in the network. It simply disconnects your current wallet and clears the app, allowing you to link a different wallet or start fresh with a new account. If you want to return to your previous wallet, just log back in using your mnemonics for a default account or the latest backup file to pick up right where you left off. It is important to remember to always back up your wallet before the wipeout. Any changes to your wallet configuration, keys, and accounts will be deleted using this feature. The only way to keep them conveniently is to have the latest file backup. In the case of mnemonics, you can restore them one by one manually. Again, it's about the configuration, not the funds or identity. Managing keys and accounts is for those of you who need additional keys, customization, or managing many or different types of accounts under one wallet interface. This option will open a sidebar full of settings and features. You can manage your keys here, create a new key, with or without the account linked to it. If you want to import an existing one, there is also a possibility to do so using the secret key. Importing the keys from a hardware wallet is also possible and very easy, but we will see it in detail later on. You can rename or remove your key from your wallet. Also, you can find and copy the secret key here. If you need to generate a signature for a specific key, just click on the Sign Message button. Each feature involves just one or two steps, with clear explanations and built-in security measures so I believe there's no need for a detailed step-by-step -step walkthrough. In this second tab, you can manage your accounts, local and view only, single SIG and multi-SIG, hardware wallet and hot wallet. You can upload an existing account from a file, but if you want to manage it fully from this wallet, you have to import its key, otherwise it will be a view only account and you will have to sign the transactions manually. You can create a brand new account, but remember to have a dedicated key for it first. You can delete or modify your accounts, not only rename, but also convert to a different type. However, be careful with this. Modifying any details except the name will change the account address. Be sure to assess the potential risks in your specific case before proceeding. Here you can copy the account address, see it in Explorer, or export it to a file. Easy as can be. The final option in the settings menu is signature verification, which is also very straightforward. Simply insert the signature from the other party as text or import it from a file. Then click Verify to view the result. That wraps up our tutorial. I hope this guide helped you understand the wallet settings and how to use them effectively. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask on Discord or explore our other tutorials for more tips. Thanks for watching and happy smashing!